Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Railroader. Unfortunately the plans that I have for today's morning were completely derailed. Okay, there were many things that derailed that. Hence why the stream had to start a little bit later. Well, first of all, uh, something completely different was meant to be streamed. But unfortunately, uh, Tankis couldn't make it this morning. Uh, so I had to quickly redo everything and replan. Uh, but we're back with Railroader. It's pretty much a standard game that, that I've been playing recently. <laughs> And I have no regrets about that, okay? The game is fantastic. Uh, on top of that, yeah, I, I got some bad news. Uh, it's called a rent increase uh, on, on the flat, so woo. Uh, I had to readjust uh, payments and, and stuff like that just to keep everything clear and, and not miss the payment because I hate missing my payments. I hate when people don't pay me uh, for my job on time. And, and I believe that someone else is uh, not liking this when they get paid not on time. So uh, obviously I adjusted everything, sorted out all the formalities to uh, to get things done because it's it's not as simple as, as that. So we need to draw a new agreement and stuff. So I, I sorted everything out and obviously that delayed the stream by about 10 minutes. So my apologies for that. I am back though. And I am now ready to begin, chat. And that's what we are going to do. However, there is a first order of business. As always, chat, we will be running Stream Raiders. Let's begin. There we go. Chat, so as I promised... We are now going to run Dream Raiders. And looking at the numbers that we had yesterday, I feel fully confident that you can beat Insane Level Challenge. And therefore, we will begin from Insane Level Challenge. And I hope you won't let me down. On this insane level challenge. <laughs> right. Uh, since this is a defensive mission as well. I shall be placed. Uh, yeah. I, I, I will place my truly epic centurion. Uh, that, is, that does not look like the centurion. It Look. This looks like a centurion. This looks like a. Whatever that is. And. And. and I don't like it. I do not like how it looks like. Therefore, he will be changed. Uh, but for now, it is what it is. Uh, we need some support. Uh, probably some here and some here. Would be probably highly appropriate. And then we need some range units. And then there is a vibe. And there is more vibe. And then there is more vibe. And then there is more vibe. Also, chat, there is another passage. Therefore, we need some armored units there. In fact, armored units should be there. Uh, we need some support. Uh, probably here. And then we need some ranged units there. So they can uh, attack. Perfect. Chat. That is the plan. And I hope we will succeed in our plan. Right, chat. With that done, let's jump into Railroader. So, the situation. The situation is that passenger train is at Silva and it is currently waiting for a green light 
which it probably won't receive anytime soon. Because number... Hold on. Uh, which one will be first? It's pretty much the same distance to Barkers. So let me set up Barkers then. Oh, it's gonna be very, very, very difficult experiment. Right. So we got Barkers. And then we got this train. So, what I am going to do is prepare this train for departure. Uh, where are you? Where are you? This can now go, and this can now go. the problem being that ARC 101 does not have the strongest compressor ever. So it's gonna take some time for the brakes to release. So 36 cars long train, 1881 tons. And this train is now moving. So I disabled them up. Right, so there's gonna be a meeting at Barker's Creek. Or at Barker's, yeah? Uh, is it called? Yeah, it's called Barker's. There we go. Right. Why do I always call it Barker's Creek? I, I, I don't know. It's, it's just my brain. has left so I may now close this switch let me just quickly fix things okay uh, right uh, this locomotive needs to extract those skeleton cars Uh, how's the fuel situation? Yeah, we got plenty. Okay, uh, road forward 15. Okay, that should do. Uh, what's the way bills? Uh, that's L1 and L2. Okay, very easy to set up. Right, chat, now I'm hoping that a train that is currently at Dillsboro is going to make it to Barkers before 101 gets there. 
it technically should happen. Because the uh, route from Dillsboro to Barkas is shorter than from uh, basically milepost 56. But you never know. Now we need to reverse quite far because it's a very long cut. Okay, 101 is currently passing through Thomas Valley. 102 is passing through Kaui. Still a long way to go. go how's the situation here okay yeah 102 should make it to barkers it's already like a mile away from it 101 is climbing to wilmot shouldn't be too many problems there In the meantime, we will try and make this counting really quick.
There you go. situation there 102 is arriving at Barker so I will soon be able to throw switches Tomek 1410 hello welcome to the stream I hope you'll have a great time today Shema Shema One bit of work done. Okay, we have passenger train on Barkers. Perfect. Throw that switch. And we can head on to paperboard. Where are we? Where are we? Okay, so I need to go through this siding. Perfect. Is there anything else? Yes, I need to close the siding of this door. Or in fact, I might just place a PZ somewhere here. Yeah, that should do. Okay, 102 holding at the red board. Quickly teleport to 202. May now go forwards. Now we have to pick up those cars. We have a nice steam loco. I, I got multiple steam locos. So 202 is s23 switcher you can't probably see it that well uh, because it's night in the game uh, then we got a tandem of two moguls g16 mogul and g25 and these bad boys are trying to pull this heavy freight train There's nearly 2,000 tons on hook. Finally, we got 102, which is P18 Pacific. And this one is currently waiting at the red board. Trying to push this passenger train. Because I'm just too lazy to run around it. And there is another switcher at Silva. Also, chat, uh, it looks like Twitch is planning to serve you an ad in about a minute or so. So we will have to survive that brief break. Yard forward 10. Let's set those things up while we wait for these trains to pass the shadow. Rather hard connection. Okay. This one's ready. Let's set it to twenty five. And let's quickly go through this bit. 
and I need to go to Connolly Creek L1, uh, which is this siding. Yeah, that's thrown, and and first four cars needs to end on this siding. Perfect. Now let's wait for this train to leave so I can throw the switches and open the road for the passenger train. That's one switch. There's another. Now jumping to Barkers. Where the two trains meet. Trimmy, that is a sound of a hard work. Remember that. That is how the hard work sounds. Welcome back everyone. Welcome back. Our freight train continues. We just went through the passing track at Barkers. So both passenger and freight train can now continue on their own way. very soon we should get to our destination and it looks like this train has been stopped because of one switch oh my days
Okay, looks like Atrimi is waiting here. Is he even online? Gone. Oh, he hasn't joined yet. Okay. Right, chat. So for a moment, we basically have to wait for things to happen. 102 is heading to Wilmot with pretty much last passenger train of the day. 101 and 201 are trying to climb all the way to Dillsboro. How much? Three thousand six hundred dollars. You know what, Chad? At the end of the day, I might be able to upgrade the heavy freight locomotive. That actually might be a good idea. I might need one or two. To take on a role of shunter around Alarka Junction. Yeah. yeah, that might be an idea. Because if I remember correctly, there's going to be some coal trains to move. And I have a feeling that standard switcher might not be good enough uh what do we have standard switcher is only 23,300 pounds of tractive effort uh, and we still don't have access to s51 which is much bigger version of a switcher and, and pretty much this thing is more powerful than G25 Mogul, which is my heavy freight locomotive at the moment. So, yeah, like paying 22 and a half grand for, for this thing it might be a bit excessive. Switcher can work for the two first tier. Oh, I, I'm jumping straight to tier three. I'm not taking tier one or two contracts anymore because that's like one or two cars to, to switch. And it gets boring really quickly. So yeah, we will need a better locomotive. Uh, I definitely need, well, I, I was hoping to get consolidation for my heavy freight locomotive, which is 280 C46. Uh, it has 46,700 pounds attractive effort I was go for tier one first gotta end the trust uh, you know I don't mind but tier one contracts doesn't really pay that much like what you make what hundred and eighty dollars daily from tier one contract it's not even worth to, to move the locomotive for that price the coal is more expensive You know, I, I need to make a profit on that. So, I, I think tier 3 contract, or current tier 3 contract, should be a starting grade. And, and then it should progress from there. Because, like, tier 1 contracts are, are usually kind of useless. You're not even getting back for the fuel. Break. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay. Uh, 
I see. I have 225 Mongol. That, that's what I was planning to send there. You can easily double the load. Okay, that, that's good. That's good. It is still stronger though. Although technically G25 Mogul is weaker than Switcher. Uh, because Switcher is lighter. So uh, weight to power ratio is better for Switcher. That it's only 25 seconds left until the beginning of the first battle of the day. I hope you place plenty of units. And when I will switch to Stream Raiders, I will see a nice and massive crowd. If you haven't done so already, just make last second adjustments. And, and let me see that beautiful and amazing army. Okay, now it's too late. We got 55 units. Chat, this is amazing. Let's have a look at this. Well, chat. I have to admit, this is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. We got archers. We got healers. We got flag bearers. And we got all that fancy crowd. Uh, I'm sure that these monsters and no chance uh, there might be some flanking going on uh, here but I, I, I'm sure that we can defeat one or two monsters trying to flank us I'm mostly concerned on uh, of what's coming at the front but we got this massive centurion uh, we got paladin we got blob templar we got the lifter tank yeah we, we got we got Shogun Orc Slayer, which is even better, and, and then we got all this fancy stuff. Is there any healer? I don't see any healer. Oh, we got artillery. Oh, my days. We got two artilleries. We got three artilleries. Oh, my days. Chat, this is going to be a massacre. A true massacre. Let me just bless you with some defensive spells and let the battle begin okay so far we are doing really good Some ranged units decided to attack us from outside of our effective range, but that didn't stop us from winning this battle. We have been victorious. Three random rewards go to three random winners, and... Beautiful. Okay. Uh, first things first, let me just go to... Gladiator Centurion, there we go. I, I'm not gonna use truly epic Centurion because it, it was really bad skin. I, I don't like it. It was very unepic. Oh, we got some rewards. 
I don't know how to use the uh, laurel or whatever that is. Rah, rah, rah. And, 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 and it, w it was terrible. Equip a skin to one of your units. I, I do have skins on all of my units. Standard skin is also a skin. What are you talking about? I, it, I don't get it. it it's Ooh, I, I, I can actually equip a skin for Saints. There we go. And that should fulfill the requirement. Oh, hang on. This, this is like a level 5 quest. I first need to purchase a store from the uh, purchase a scroll from the store. Uh, but I, I'm not going to do that. It, or do I? Uh, can I purchase a scroll? I'm gone. Um, ah, okay. So I can get two scrolls for, for free. There we go. Because that fulfills the quest. And I can collect 50 gold. That I just spent on Shinobi scrolls. And now I need to place a flag bearer. Okay. So chat, chat, let's do some questing. Let's do some questing, chat. The game wants me to place a flag bearer. Therefore, I shall be placing a flag bearer. We are also blessed by Athena. Melee units gain 10% damage and attack speed. Melee units will deal 1000% extra damage. Every time the unit gains a kill or assist, this bonus is blocked for 10 seconds. All units have minus 50% healing. So remember about that when you will be placing your units. I will also place a vibing sections. You can vibe in these sections and you can obviously join the battle in, in others. And, and that should be enough of the planning. Perfect. I feel like this is a perfect plan, Chad. This is a perfect plan. Now, back to other perfect plans. So we got plenty. So, our freight train is now at Dillsboro. Ooh, Chad. I, I accidentally placed a few Z exactly where it should be. And that's good because ARC 201 is a bit out of water. There we go. The question is, is 101 going to be sufficient to pull the strain far enough for 201 to get water? Or perhaps will I have to apply handbrakes on some of the cars and disconnect from them in order to pull 201 further? Hmm. That That's an interesting question. It is struggling, but it's doing something. Is it going to make it? I just literally need to move. 
by a tiny bit. Might be too far, in fact. Come on, you can do it. Well, it is struggling, but it is pulling on it. There we go, chat. Both locomotives are now supplied with water. Yeah, the couplers are constantly stretching. I guess developers need to work on, on that a little bit more. Also, I would like to remind you guys that if anyone wants to join me, this is an open session and you can do so at any time. All the details are on my Discord server. This train is now ready to roll. Also, let's make sure that we can go through Silva without stopping. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. There we go. This train is now ready. 102 is currently heading to Bryson. Let's quickly check whether the switches are set. They should be. This one is set, which means that switches are set correctly. At least until we get to Bryson. Oh no, they, they are also set past Bryson. There we go. Um, hmm. I wish AI would know how to resupply water at least. That would really, really help. Uh, right, what's going on at those borough? Oh, okay. 
I haven't seen much of a progress. But that's because the train is so heavy that it's hard to make the progress. Okay, looks like Atrime joined me. Which is good. Either someone yeah. will have to... Uh, someone will have to shunt those pulpit cars. Have a look at Alarka Junction, whether I have a water spore there. It doesn't appear like there is any. Nothing on the map. So there is no water at Alarka. There is no water at Hemingway. I think it's only after we build that... Uh, y... When we have access, we when have we to will go all the way to Alaka to get uh, water and coal. Oh, I see. Is there and a station a there? Yeah, there is a station. You have four phases to go all the way there. Four phases. Yep. Ouch. You have to build the Y, and then you have um, some tracks to build on three phases. Oh, I see. So for now, there's going to be a lot of struggle at Bryson. Yeah. <laughs> well, nothing's perfect. back one or two is coming in hot at Bryson in fact I can at just route for 102 so it won't go past Bryson for now we'll just stop there and then I will disable the route mode and we will quickly refuel water at least well I will probably fully refuel it it's just much easier. And then when we will unlock Alarka, this train will be doing only Alarka branch. And then for other branch, we will get another passenger train that will do separate run. And because for Andrews, we will need a much stronger locomotive. So I feel like this is a good decision. Because then we will have two passenger trains running at the same time. And ideally... I would love to have someone to run it manually rather than using AI, which is riddled with imperfections. Okay. 
ARC-102 is low on water and it's holding on rice. Fantastic. Yeah, 320 gallons is rather low, I have to admit. So, forward 15. Everything is set. Perfect. Oh, there we go. Tankis is also joining us today. Perfect. That will make things a bit easier.
There we go. That should do. There we go. That fits perfectly. Right, how's our finance situation? So we got 15 grand at the moment. We just made $1,200 from this delivery. I, I don't think this will be enough to, to get consolidation chat. Obviously, we will be getting a little bit of money. Uh, for... Uh, for the pull port, uh, we'll be getting some money for for the logs. I'm 
unfortunately passengers won't be delivered anymore, at least today. That will continue tomorrow, I guess. It's the passenger situation. There's 11. Uh, we should be alright. I'm sure they won't be disappointed. So I'm guessing this route done once is a limit of ARC 102. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it could make it all the way to Alarka. Uh, so I need to figure out how to do it. Well, with watering at Dillsborough, which we could do, we can do a full route from Alarka when, when it's unlocked. Because that's where we're gonna get coal and water. Always. And then full route to Silva. Back to Dillsboro. Watering at Dillsboro. And all the way to Alarka. Yeah, that might do. Orders forward that can be deleted. I could technically go and connect from this side. And do it the right way. But hey. There is no wrong way. There we go, so we are now waiting for Atrimi to finish. How's things going in here? Perfect. Yeah, so I can now throw that switch. And unlock this one.
Perfect. Have a look at 102. It should now be ready. It is almost ready. First, perfect. Wonderful. Chat, the battle is ready. Let's just jump right into it. Look at this beautiful crowd. Let's put a killing field to boost our offensive powers i can see a lot of people are vibing okay we got few true warriors though right let's begin uh, do we have any medics do we have okay we, we got a fairy that that's that's some healing we got ancient archers, warrior berserkers. Okay, okay. Okay, so so we got only one healing unit. Oh no, we got grand healer. Okay, okay. And, and that that is more than enough. Level twenty six. Come on, give me a break. That's gonna be more than enough. Okay, our army is melting surprisingly quick. That we, we need to improve our performance. That that this is not good. Hey, chat, 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 chat. What was that? Answer me. How how did that happen? Can 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 someone ex can someone explain? Cut cut cut. Let let's hold on for a second, okay? It's only level insane. I, I'm sure you can do it, okay? I'm sure we can do better. Okay, we, we got another random level. Hermes is this time blessing this battle. Assassins have better movement. And therefore, I shall place my shinobi. Chat, let's overwhelm enemy with assassin units. Let's make it the greatest army of assassins that we've seen. No healing, full hardcore, assassins in row. Let's place them all over the place, okay? Spread them out evenly. And let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, we got rope, we got rubber band shinobi, and we got trickster shinobi, that's level 27 shot, 
Ooh, this is gonna be... Oh, we got two epic war beast. Awesome, awesome. Give me more. I want to see a massive crowd in here. Chat, I, I want to see the massive crowd. Right. Back to our normal operations. Right, uh, Atrimi, have you finished stowing all the cars? Yes, I did. Wonderful. I was gonna take the locomotive to fill up at uh, this borough. Oh, no, they, they don't need filling up. Oh, okay. The Nico Fabi, yes, that was clearly not enough units, but hopefully this oh, time... Okay, I'm here. Hopefully this time we will do better. Right, everyone, uh, we will now advance time. Okay, our reputation has been maintained at 109%. Operations safety is at 98%. And we got 10 grand in our pocket. That's not enough. Uh, right, Atrimi. Your mm -hmm. first order of the day is to assemble a heavy freight train. Uh, so, uh, starting from the furthest location to the closest location, that's how the cars need to be placed behind uh, 102, uh, behind 201 and, and 101. Okay. So, uh, anything for Alarka Junction, that goes first. Then it's followed by Bryson Staff. Then this is followed by Whittier Staff, which is Ila, Stenzel, uh, Sawmill. And then finally, at the very end of the train, uh, you put uh, Staff for Wilmot. And after that, you put those empty cars from uh, 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 from Paul. I don't put them with the sawmill stuff. No, you put them at the very end. Oh, okay. Oh. This is gonna be a heavy train. Have you seen the interchange? There's only 41 cars. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> yeah, it's been worse. Guys, I uh, say honestly, after fixing the closed, I feel like I'll squeeze at le lemon. Oh. oh well, it happens. Okay, we got quite a few cars for Alarka oh, Junction. That's... Oh yeah, I, I forgot there is that Y that we are building, so. Yeah. Oh, and this make sure to and make sure that everything is grouped. So if you need to do some extra shunting there, take your time. Yeah, yeah. I'll be doing that. Good. Let me know when the heavy train is ready to depart. In the meantime, chat, I will focus on the passenger train. So basically, it's going to be AI that's running it. Uh, where is this? Orders, reverse, send.
Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Passenger train is now sorted for another few minutes. Uh, I believe tankist will have some logs to uh, sort out, so that's that's some work for him. Okay, chat. Our goal for today is to make another ten grand, so I can upgrade. The locomotives. Well, I could technically take ten grand loan and, and then repay it. But we can do it closer to the end. Well, uh, we can just buy a brand new locomotive closer to the end of the day, send it to Bryson. Be good. Right, let's have a look at this area. For now, Bryson team doesn't need to do any shunting. Yeah, that doesn't need shunting. Uh, is there anything here? No. Nothing here doesn't seem to need any shunting. Which is good. looks like the ads will start in 30 seconds so what i'm gonna do i will take a very very quick break and in the meantime let's observe the work of a dreamy because he is doing some heavy shunting here
Alright everyone, I am back. My apologies for that uh, rather extended break. But now I got a brand new coffee. Okay, I can see that Atrimi is currently trying to do something. <laughs> He's definitely trying to do something. Okay, so we got Alarka Junction side that needs to go right behind the train uh, or right behind the locomotives. Uh, then we got. Ooh, there is a lot of stuff for Silva. Uh, then we got, oh, Whittier stuff, yes. Whittier, uh, Stenzel. Yeah, there's pretty much only one thing for Bryson, which is Appalachian Hardwoods. Which helps, because I can then reuse a shunter from... Bryson to, to do Alarka Junction. Okay, I'm now trying to figure out what's what's going on here. Okay. Okay, so Dillsborough Calling Tower and Locus needs to be extracted. Slay Mika and Shis needs to be put behind the wheat here. Okay. 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 The, the train is taking its shape. It's it's definitely going forward. I have to say, Atrimi is very very efficient. Right, uh, Atrimi, how are you doing with that? So far, so good, almost ready. Just good, good, good. The deals more stuff for the will not, uh, will not stuff. Yeah. Uh, Locust pin. Oh yeah, yeah lo Locust pin CO is also for this borough. Yeah, I know. Okay. Thanks for the color, uh, color coding. Yeah, color coding is brilliant idea in this game. Yeah. I, I have to admit that when it comes to UI design, that color coding of uh, waybills is absolutely amazing. Right, let's have a look at number one oh. Oh no, I'm gone. That's. 103 102 is heading from Hemingway okay so we get some small cash flow yeah th there were a few passengers for Hemingway but I need more that thing needs to go up to 20 grand so I can invest in C46 consolidation Ideally, I would love to have C55 consolidation. Uh, because obviously B65 Berkshire is a bit out of my reach uh, at the moment. I mean, technically the price difference is only 6 grams, but... Am I going to make it? To earn that yeah, fifty-five stuff. is uh, just six grand more. So, hmm. one day of wait, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> loading i mean and and then 
the jump to Berkshire is on only another four grand between C55. So it it's some it, it, chat. Th those are some difficult decisions. Okay, because I I could technically invest straight away into Berkshire <laughs> and, and, and just get it, uh, get a loan and, and deal with it. It's just a test of how patient you can be. <laughs> you know, I can't. I've been waiting for so long. I can't be patient anymore. <laughs> Give me a break. Patience is not one of my perks. Definitely uh, not a great. Uh, nothing happened so far. What is about to happen is that we might get a proper freight locomotive. Better be careful with my switcher. I almost stopped. I'm um, just 1,000 gallon of water left. Well, then you need to work really quick. I'm almost done. Technically, you can bring up the big locomotives. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna bring the cargo down to, to the big locomotives. Oh, then fair enough. Oh, also, I, I almost forgot that I had also to put the pop cars. Yeah. So yeah, when you assemble all the cuts, you just push it onto on onto the back of the locomotives that are waiting. It's not the opposite. I'm gonna need every bit of fuel to get to Bryson. Right, chat. As we are observing this amazing passenger stop. Looks like our battle is ready. Let's hop into Stream Raiders. Let's see that magnificent army. Okay, okay. Just as I asked you to, everyone is in completely different spot. We are very spread mm. around. Uh, so hopefully AI will get confused and our shinobis and other assassins will quickly deal with those... Uh, enemy units. Uh, I will place a curse over let's say those enemies and, and let's see how, how that plays. Oh, th there's Manticore. Uh, I, sh I should have probably placed a curse in there. Uh, too late now. Okay, chat. We'll, we'll deal with it yeah. somehow. Let, let, let's see how it plays. Whether my plan was successful or not. Okay, my shinobi didn't live long, however, it looks like having two assassins wasn't that bad idea after all. Okay, so I'm going to change the settings of the microphone in my headphones, and so you will be hearing or not. There we go. Okay, three random winners get rewards. Congratulations, everyone. This was magnificent battle. And now, chat, now's the time. The time has come. Hang on, let me just upgrade the Templar while I can do that. And 50 event tokens. I don't need event tokens. Chat, we are going to beat the Heracles. The extreme boss for which we will get loyalty boss chest. I'm going to let the game load the battle. There we go. Chat. This is going to be a very, 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 very difficult battle. It has. He has. 580 hit points and he hits for 42 damage that is some serious firepower there chat this is some serious firepower however i can guarantee you that if we will hide 
in the right spot, we will be able to prevail. And the right spot is just here. Give me a massive army all in that square. I want this full square populated by your best vibing soldiers. Okay. I want a couple of assassins. There. Uh, perhaps somewhere there. There. And there. And the special task force group of assassins there. Just to try and assassinate this boss. Or, or fail miserably. Uh, also, don't forget to place few units that will be healing us. Uh, assassins don't need healing. However, we need a heavy tank brigade with a healer and just a few ranged units. Yes. Chat, that's the plan. That is the plan. Populate this entire area with your best units. Yes, Tankist, I could hear you. Quite loud and clear. Um, I hope. Oh, okay. Now it's even worse than it was. Wait, really worse? Yeah. Now, now you sound like a radio demon from Has Been Hotel. <laughs> it's a. <sighs> now, now it was better. I think I just changed a heat, a heat, uh, heat furnace. Probably it's the time if, if they are faulty because then. Because uh, my headphones are connected by uh, USB. Oh, that explains a lot. Maybe I change with uh, different connection ports. Yeah, a mini jack is best. Right, uh, Atrimi, I, I, I can see a small flaw in, in your, yeah. in your plan. That cat yeah, you are I... trying to assemble is a bit too long for... I know. I, I have another plan for the, for you to not use any fuel for the locomotives. <laughs> I just imagine if I use uh, those microphone at Simrail, I told dispatcher, yes. And I told him, uh, red, I see a red signal, and he say, what? Told Toucher, I not hear you. Well, okay. Hmm. You know what, Atrimi, there is a method in this madness. If you release all the brakes and run away from the train and let the wagons roll, they might actually roll far enough so you can overtake them and, and just put Alarka Junction side first um, and then sure come back for the rest. What I'm just seeing is the fact that uh, I have almost no water left, so I'm probably going to have to refuel first. Do you, do yeah. you sure S23 can uh, take all this, uh, train, all this wagons? Don't tell me I cannot push. Come on. Oh, no, thingy. It's looking, I don't know how this pain. Was... Yeah, I forgot I was not in yard mode. Yeah, the question is how do you want to overtake this train? Uh, I, I have my, uh, my plan. <laughs> I am rather scared of your plans. <laughs> well, as, as long as you won't damage anything, I, I think I no, will I approve. <laughs> you only have 500 gallons. You'll be fine. 
I had too many close calls on my own save. <laughs> I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> you know, during that whole time while Heavy Train was traveling to Silva, why haven't you refueled then? I did, but <laughs> I, uh, no, I was not here. I did, ah, I did you see. So that's the problem. Before, but I was not here before the train arrived. See, so, so that is the problem. <laughs> Next time you need to show up on time for your ship. <laughs> I just don't know if uh, it, it's saying that it's like if you were paying me. <laughs> I mean, uh, payment was never discussed in, in your agreement. <laughs> when did I agree? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, Tankist, yes, uh, you sounded like Radio Demon again. I just uh, try... I just uh, disable ADC um, at my microphone. Jeez, this might not be long enough. Remember, you are going downhill. I'm picking up some speed now. <laughs> well, because you are using shunter to pull pretty much entire weight of the train for a heavy train. You know, the idea of the shunter is to assemble that in parts, not oh. un not <laughs> in one go. You know, and and you know. Well, it's doing it. <laughs> Don't use, don't use uh, break that many times as the devil heal. It's an uh, empty uh, break system. I mean, he can still break the train, but that's... Or he can still stop the train, that, that's not an issue. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Um, yeah, that will work as well. Although, you will struggle to overtake the train. I'm not trying to overtake it. I'm just gonna stop uh, on the siding. Yeah, but this siding might not be enough. That's what I'm thinking, sadly. <laughs> yeah. If I remember correctly, it is not enough. Yep, you still need about... 10 more cars length. Oh, I should be good. I should be good then. Oh, okay. Go on, go on, go on. Three cars. Just, just barely, but I should be good. Two cars. As long as this cut can fit, then yeah, we can actually try and do whatever you want it to do. Half a cup. And you're good. Slam on the brakes. Stop. Oh, that doesn't stop him. There we go. <laughs> Just barely. The problem is that when I attach those two locomotives in front, yeah. I will still be blocking the junction. Um... And so you have not helped with the situation. I, uh... Can you? No, you cannot. You cannot go. Um... You can push it a little bit. Nah, it, it, it's still not not enough. Mm, okay. Yeah, just go forwards and and decouple from the train. I'll, I'll sort it. 
uh, anyway, I just I need to go get some water, so. Ah, uh, damn, damn it. Okay. Internet, uh, I didn't rush. Go and get some water, then. into silver uh yeah if you put the locomotive to silver i'll be able to go run around them and then i'll be able to push or you can come back to get the the cars well yeah i can wait at silver In fact, in the future, I was planning to get all things sorted at Dillsboro. Um, because Dillsboro is gonna get a yard. Yeah. Speaking of yard, I, I can actually get the Dillsboro yard. Well, depends if you want to save money for the new loco. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I, I probably will have to wait a day longer. Or I will just take a loan for the new loco. Yeah. There we go. We got a Dillsboro yard. <coughs> oh, it's... It's built already? Yeah, it's instantaneous build. Apparently. Uh, is it? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, okay. It's here. I see. I was at the station, I did not see anything. I mean, the yard is less impressive than I planned to. Yeah. This yard is disappointing. Uh, it's a small one. I can do the job. It is disappointing. <laughs> I was hoping it to be longer. I mean, yes, you can do the job. But... It is a very disappointing yard. It is a very sad yard. And I just paid nearly four grand for it. <laughs> I am very upset now. Uh, but that's extra space to store wagons and, and stuff. Uh, so I think, uh, hang on, well inbound trains will still go directly to interchange because there's no point to do it otherwise or in any other way, uh, but outbound trains, yeah, we can do some classification and, and yard work at Dillsboro on those three tracks that it added. It's literally three trucks. And the longest one is not even long enough for basic freight train. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure that even the longest track on Dillsboro is not going to be good enough. That is the definition of sad. <laughs> Hang on. Unless... you go all the way around with things. It might just be enough. Assemble a train. I was kind of hoping that this yard will basically go all the way to Dillsboro Depot and it will join up with the main line. Yeah, with the main line in there. 
Because there is enough space to put a second truck next to it. Yeah. And, like, go closer to the river and stuff, but obviously... Apparently... It has to end much quicker than it is. I mean, it still looks nice, don't get me wrong, but it, it will be rather empty. Oh, it will be useful when we will be getting uh, so many cars each and every day. Uh, that... They'll spawn in multiple waves. Yeah, that they will spawn in, in two waves, because then you will need some space to cluster, uh, to like basically sort things out and silver mm. paperboard is not the best place to, to do that. True. Yeah, so Robinson Gap Call is on tier 3 straight away. Well, for the first delivery you just have one car. Tomorrow you'll have a lot of core cars to fill up. Oh, Appalachian Hardwoods will go up to tier 3. Standard Oil will go to tier 3. Sawmill is going to tier 5. Anything at Parsons Tannery. This stuff, yeah. Well, now you got water. Might as well, might as well just take coal with a mirror. So our finances, yeah, our money went down to seven grand. That's that's not too bad. And we also need to remember that passenger train is basically running all the time. Speaking of passenger train, I think it is being held at the red board. I don't know why, but I have yeah. Of course, passenger train is being held at the red board because. Tankist forgot to throw the switch. Okay. Great. Right, we will be reorganizing things when it comes to Dillsboro and the Interchange. I think in the future when trains will be running all the way from Andrews to the interchange, they will actually stop at Hillsboro. Because then I can refuel, pick up whatever is coming back and just drop off stuff at Hillsboro so it can be classified and that might actually work. Although trains that are going to be coming back will be rather long. We're talking about 50 cars or something. So it's still going to be better to stop at paperboard and go down to Dillsboro to pick up 
outbound train. Yeah, I, I think that's that's gonna be the best way. Just leaving inbound trains at Dillsboro means that switcher will have to go up that grade near uh, between Silva and Interchange. And that doesn't really work well. Okay, let's have a look. went through this area uh, let's let's send them through silva Oops, hang on. The game is lagging a bit there we go yeah he's now gonna go over yunizan hello welcome to the stream i hope you'll have a great time today how are you doing this morning Morning is quiet on, on this railway. I need to wait for Atrimi to overtake this train because the next cut that's just going to connect is this. my place oh it's 7 30 in the evening wow hang on so you must be living somewhere around uh, <laughs> to make it that much of a difference that's either is that Aust could that be australia no east asia okay yeah no. So I, I was kind of close, well, close. Uh, it, in that sense, yes, it, it, I was kind of close. So is that like Korea or, or something? Or, yeah, East Asia would, would suggest probably like South Korea. Uh, from, I, I'm not sure if I got any viewers from China, actually. Uh, hmm. Malaysia. Oh, okay, Malaysia. Never been there. Probably won't be able to visit those areas anytime soon because travel is rather expensive. Same as everything else is expensive these days, so... <laughs> So probably I, I won't be visiting the country anytime soon, but yeah. I hope things are going well on this side of the globe. There we go. He went through and therefore I can now reverse 15. One or two is climbing. Well, climbing. Uh, I, I think it's a flat land, to be honest. Uh, he's going to Wilmot. Uh, Tankist is currently doing something around Connolly. One or three is waiting at Bryson. There's not much work for it right now. Uh, 
And by tomorrow, we will have a Lark Junction. Okay. Oh, I, I'm not in, in the US. Uh, I live in the UK. So, exchange rate should be even better than that. But it's travel to Malaysia that, that's going to be rather expensive. Not to mention that uh, so sorting all the visa stuff for me is, is going to be even more difficult. Because I'm not British national, so I will have to sort out visas for each and every travel using different channels and, and stuff. And it's, uh, it's, it's going to be rather annoying. <laughs> Which part of the UK? Well, I, I live in England, uh, right between Manchester and Liverpool. So you can you can check that out on the map where roughly you should uh, where roughly I am. Uh, but yes, it, it is still England because UK has Scotland, Northern Ireland, and and Wales as well. And those are apparently separate countries that are part of the United Kingdom. So I'm in England part. Okay, let's... Ah, oh, Unisan, to, to be honest, like, it, it's a difficult choice, you know? It, I, I think it depends which town I am in at the moment, yeah? And, and which group approaches me, yeah? And, and, and then I'm, I'm just trying to not spark any anger of, of angry supporters of any of the teams. Because I, I generally don't support any of them. I, I don't even watch football myself. Uh, but if I would get to choose my favorite, it, it used to be Manchester United. Uh, but that was long time ago. And right now, it, it would be very difficult choice. Although I, I'm not a fan of Scouse accent, I, I could never understand it. So I, I, I think I, I wouldn't go with Liverpool. Manchester City? Uh, I don't know. It, it, is that some sort of like a second league team or, or whatever? I, I don't really follow. Uh, but why would Manchester have two teams? Although I heard Manchester... Hang on, no, Manchester City should be better than Manchester United right now, is it? I, I think they, they, they scored better in the tables. Uh, I don't know, I'm confused now. Football is definitely not my cup of tea. Or rather soccer, De depending on which part of the world you are. It's either called soccer or, or football. Although, there's also American football where 
which is pretty much called rugby in the UK, although those are still two different sports, because in American football, you dress yourself like a massive tank, uh, while in, in rugby, you, you just wear a standard t-shirt and, and, and shorts. And, and yeah, it's basically a sport about two groups of guys hugging themselves over a ball that, that is not effectively a ball, but hey. I, I was always ignorant when it comes to sports, so... <laughs> also, chat, the battle is ready! Right, let me place a blessing over our brave soldiers. And let the battle commence. Chat, our army is doing great so far. Now the boss, oh my goodness me, the boss is really killing us, but we, we managed to defeat him. And the last few remnants of our army are now dealing with remaining enemies and we won. Chat. That was an amazing battle. You did great, and the boss has been defeated. Trial of Heracles has been completed, and now we enter a fifth trial. And with the numbers I can see today, I am fairly confident we can conquer a quarry. And since it's already half past 11, it will be the last battle of today's stream chat. So give me your best units onto this battlefield because there won't be any more chances today. Okay, that window is about to close. I want your best units. I want the best army that I've seen in my entire life. Or there will be no more chances. I will be placing my Centurion to defend you against overwhelming waves of foes. And the rest is on you, chat. I'm not planning anything because I know that with army like yours, no plan is going to change the outcome. We're gonna be victorious regardless of how good quality the plan is. American football, but they use hand mostly. I, I, I mean, I think they do some sort of like a kick out or whatever that is called. I, I don't know. Like, I know it's a big deal in America and obviously like there's always a huge deal when, when all that sports is being transmitted. It's, it's like there is a lot of money in, in that sport and it's super popular in, in America, but to be honest, I I don't know. I, I never could understand uh, these uh, ball games in, in general, like baseball, football. Okay, basketball was all right. Uh, I was never really good at it because I'm not the most sporty person, to be honest. Uh, but generally, it was never my cup of tea. Uh, I was always more of a chess player, even though I'm not particularly good at chess, because I, I, I can't focus on one thing, I struggle to focus on things, that's why uh, my streams tend to be rather chaotic in, in, in many places. Uh, so, the busier I am, the more I can focus, the less busy I am, the less I can focus, that, that's how it works. So, I, I like to do some work that keeps me busy, because this way I can actually focus. 
I mean, yes, uh, indeed. Like, uh, football is, is basically the most basic child game you can get. Yeah? You just throw a ball between a group of kids and, and they will start kicking it. And that's basically how the football was probably born. Uh, like, basketball, I, I think that was some sort of like an Inca sport, yeah, was it? It was rather a brutal one, but uh, yeah, I, I think that's how the roots of basketball were discovered. I think it was from Incas or whatever, so something like that. They, they played kind of similar sport where they had to throw ball over rings or something. And then the losing team got killed. Uh, but that's, that's a different story. Uh, civilization went ahead a little bit from then. And, and losing team is just getting a shout from, from the couch and, and whatever. And, 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 and then there are other repercussions. But yeah, mostly financial. <laughs> anyway yeah uh, i could never understand american football and rugby uh, although i live next to a stadium which has one of the first league or, or top league teams uh, because yeah the town that i live happens to have really really a uh, good uh, rugby team or it used to have really good rugby team because right now it's a bit terrible from what i heard Anyway, chat, in 10 seconds, Twitch is planning to serve you an ad. Uh, so I will take a very, very short break before we will depart with this train and continue our conversation.
Welcome back, everyone. Sorry to keep you waiting. But this freight train is now almost ready. Let me just double check whether everything is disconnected. Well, it doesn't appear that this has been disconnected. Now it is. We got 41 cars, 1764 tons. Rather long train. A lot of it goes to tankies. And I have a feeling that soon we will have to expand with your team. Okay? Because there's always a lot of work around Whittier. Uh, not so much around Bryson yet. And I think it would be fair... ...to get someone to help tankist with all that shunting. Look at this. There's... Cars for Slay Mika, Witter Sawmill, all, all that stuff. Uh, obviously, Connelly Creek, uh, all, all that needs servicing. Pretty much. Up until Appalachian Hardwoods, everything stays with Whittier. That's most of the length of this train. Also, half of it for Alaka, half of it for Whittier. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Although for Alarka, this is only one time occurrence. Yeah. <laughs> Because as soon as I finish building uh, whatever there is to build, uh, the next train should be way shorter. There's only one car for mining supplies, so yeah. Yeah, but that is also something that I will be worried about later.
work. No, it's not going to work. Okay, so we will have those two trains passing each other on this very short siding. I love how distorted sounds will get. went through entire Dillsboro and, and the train still haven't gone through the entry signal. passenger train is now arriving at Koei. So that should help. Unison, yes, uh, you have to buy different sections of, of the signaling. That's how it works. Uh, so initially... The game starts without any signaling. And there is only one tiny stretch of track between Whittier and Ela. That's pretty much all the starting track. And then you need to expand from there while also expanding your operations. So you build your rolling stock, you create or uh, sign contracts with businesses, etc, uh, etc. Et and essentially that's how it works.
Okay. I just unlocked Bryson and the Bryson bridge went to Alarka Junction. Yeah, uh, so that's pretty much the stretch of tracks that I got. Uh, I can only go as far as Alarka Junction at the moment. And I'm trying to expand further. Uh, but you can also build signals in different places. So if you want to play signals between Whittier and Silva, the game will give you four cars that you need to leave at Wilmot. So the sooner you do it, the better, because when you expand contract with uh, Wilmot services or Wilmot businesses, you will not have enough space to fit all the cars at the same time. Uh, so when you start at level 1 uh, with your contract, it's better for you. Because then you have some space to put the signals on. I don't buy silver because it's too far for me. Yeah, actually, it is, well, it isn't too far, uh, in my opinion. But yes, it is a lot more work uh, because you have some shunting to do around paperboard, which is located right next to interchange. There's always few cars that you need to spot around Dillsboro. Uh, there are few cars for Wilmot, but usually you can just throw them at Whittier and, and Whittier will sort it. Or, well, you will sort it from Whittier. Uh, Ela, there's literally like one delivery every two days. Uh, Witter Interchange, Stenzel is getting regular two-car delivery each day on, on Tier 5, so uh, you will have to spot some cars each and every day. Bryson, Bryson is quiet. It, it's surprisingly quiet. It's dead. It's literally dead. You, you get one car for Appalachian Hardwoods every day, and that's pretty much the extent of work you will have at Bryson. Uh, anything else is serviced like every two, three days only. Uh, so apart from passenger station, you won't see much traffic around Bryce. Uh, Walker, you don't really need to use it because tier 5 uh, or tier 4 sawmill can be fully supplied from Connolly Creek. And, and there's still space on, on the sidings to, to put additional cars at Connolly. So I don't feel the need to even start operations at Walker. Uh, so yeah, uh, like if, if you think about where to place your cargo and, and how to run it, it it actually isn't that much work really. It, it feels like it, it feels overwhelming at first, uh, but even alone you can quite successfully go through entire day and finish it at 100%. Uh, obviously, right now I'm running, for example, passenger train is fully automated. So this is run by a script and it just runs it uh, from from each station autonomously. Uh, all I have to do is to refuel the locomotive uh, every time train goes through Bryson. And that's pretty much it. And the rest, uh, yeah, I, I run them on AI engineers, so I just send the train, go there, do that, and, and that's pretty much it. Apart from that, the input is very minimal. And obviously, I always invite my viewers to join me, so eventually, uh, today, there's Tankist and Atrimi who joined me, and, and, and they basically run some trains for me so I literally have nothing to do today <laughs> apart from running a heavy train which is running just now I haven't really done any job when it comes to shunting Bryson was dead quiet I started off from doing light shunt work around Connolly but since Tankis came in he is basically a manager of this area so he knows what to do, he knows where to place wagons and, and stuff, so I, I don't really need to do anything. Atrimi is taking over Silva. Who managed the CTC? AI manages the CTC, because first of all, I don't have that much uh, light traffic. 
uh, on the line to put someone on CTC and make it fun. Because I, I literally run like one heavy freight train from one end to another. A uh, passenger train is coming back and forth at all times. And then pretty much nothing else happens. Uh, because everyone else is working on the branches. So uh, Tankis is most likely going to be somewhere at Connolly. Or doing some yard work around Ila or Whittier. Uh, same goes to Atrimi. Uh, yes, uh, CTC is set to ABS and, and it works perfectly fine for me. At least for now. Uh, obviously, when the traffic will increase, when there is more players, I will want someone to take over CTC full time. Uh, but right now, I, I just don't have enough work for CTC guy to basically have fun. You would be staring at empty board where nothing is happening. There's occasional one train that, that you need to route and, and that's it. So that wouldn't be fun, isn't it? In order for CTC to be fun, uh, there needs to be some AI traffic going from one end of the line to another. If there would be regular like uh, freight trains passing through entire line, a person on CTC would have constant work because it's our traffic that runs on the branches from time to time and we need to go on the main line. And then there is AI traffic that has high priority and we are getting paid a ton for moving that train from one end to another. Yeah, And, and that would make sense, but that's not implemented in the game. So at this point, CTC is kind of pointless, to be honest. It is a nice addition to the game. And when there is enough players and if there is enough trains running, then, of course, it is fantastic idea. I love it. Uh, but at this point, like, I literally have six locomotives. Is it? Uh, do I even have six? Come on. Uh, equipment. Yeah, I, I literally got six locomotives. And most of them are used for shunting work. 101 and 201 are for heavy freight trains. And they will be repurposed as soon as I get something that is fully living up to the name. And, and that's it. Okay, there we go. Very empty siding at Wit here. Yeah? Okay, sawmill is supplied. We are currently working on Alarka Junction Y. So I got cars delivered and they are with heavy freight train at the moment. I'm not building fueling stands just yet that will be built at one go along entire line as soon as i expand all the way to andrews i will place few diesel fueling stands and then we will start investing in diesel locomotives to run heavy freight trains so i i think that will be a good idea actually to have diesel locomotives running heavy freight and then perhaps in few places, uh, light shunters might be diesel. Yeah, that, that could actually work. Passenger trains will always be run with coal trains still. Speaking of passenger trains, there will be some more work for players on, on that one. So if someone wants to join and take over passenger service, I will be more than happy to allow that. Okay, heavy freight is passing to Thomas Valley.
Ooh, finally breaking news. Doomsday clock is still set 90 seconds to midnight. Ooh, should we be scared? Nope. Uh, right, something is happening around with here, is it? Or is it? Oh, okay. No, it's, it's because train is at Thomas Valley. But this is still red, and that's not supposed to be red. What's going on here? That needs to be set, and that needs to be set. There we go. And guest! What problem? Why did you took my time? Uh, I you really like it with it. Your mini. But thanks for the nice dark shade. Okay, uh, let's let's follow this train. Although it's gonna be very very loud. Where's... Oh, I see. Train is up. There's four. Right. Chat. Chat. As we are approaching Whittier... The battle is ready to begin. Uh, we will slightly delay the start of the battle. So I, I'm just waiting for this train to go past this signal. So I can properly route it where it has to be. It's not far away. It's almost there. Almost there, chat. It is crawling to its destination. Look at this long, heavy freight train. Okay, now that the train went through the signal, we may send it where it belongs. Uh, Unison, no. Everything is still manual. It 
to be honest, uh, ABS CTC works kind of similar to no CTC at all. So you still have to press on, on different switches and throw them. Uh, the difference is that if I will throw a switch from the main line, for example, in here at, at Whittier, mm -hmm. if I would have thrown this switch to, to this siding where I'm trying to get this train into, and then not open the way on the other side, the CTC would just close off the entire station and it would say there is no access to the station. So that signal would be red. So I have to wait for the train to literally go past this signal in order to start throwing switches. Okay, I, I think... We need a bit more distance there. Because the train didn't fit. So no, automatic CTC won't, won't do it. it. It basically just turns every uh, the whole system into automatic block signaling and, and that's it. So when the block is occupied, the signals on each end will be read and, and that's, that's how it works. one cars is more or less the switch Now we are down to 15 cars. Perfect. All the switches are set.
So that's all the work for Whittier. Quite a lot of stuff. So now, I just need to set some switches at Bryson, just to make sure that this train will end on the appropriate siding, uh, so this should be long enough. This isolated, perfect. That's all the switches that I need to throw. And now, chat. I know, I know, I know all the stream raiders. You are still waiting for the battle to be concluded. So now, that's precisely what I'm going to do. Right, chat. Let's all admire this beautiful and amazing crowd. Look at this. It is truly impressive. It is magnificent. And I will drop haste on on this group for they will be blocked in in that narrow passage in order to overflow the enemy. But I'm I'm fairly confident in your skills, chat. This battle is already a success. Look at them go! Oh! The Mafios Rogue just got defeated by chickens. Oh, that that's skinny. Okay, I, I, I thought those were chickens. <laughs> okay, okay, that explains a lot. Okay, five random winners will get additional rewards on top of three golds that each one of you will get. All right, chat. For the Stream Raiders, that is the end for today. I hope you enjoyed it. But, the stream will go on for another few minutes. So, if you want to continue, then I strongly recommend staying with us. Okay, so, uh, before we will wrap things up for today, uh, I am still waiting for this heavy train to arrive at Bryson. And ideally, a passenger train to get there as well. So we can stop things and, and keep things at that level before tomorrow. In the meantime, I can see that Tankis is starting to, to, doing, uh, to do some shunting, uh, which is good. Uh, let's have a look at Atrimi. 
how are things going there okay there is some movement around so we got those four cars for silver paperboard that atrimi is now picking up it should just fit literally I, I i did that once with four cars and they literally just fit on this siding so this is at the very limit okay silver paperboard s1 these are ready that's dillsboro okay okay most of most of the silver stuff is pretty much done there's one car for uh, for paperboard r1b but that is to be replaced with a silver interchange car that is stuck in here yeah, yeah. i have to admit that atrimi is very efficient when it comes to shunting really really good efforts there by the time a train reached with here thank you most of the job is done around paperboard if you watched my previous streams i i wasn't doing that well in in this area so that is efficiency at its peak which is good we really need that chat we really need that we need more and more and more efficient engineers to run trains for us okay 102 is now flying through it here while at the same time Tankis is trying to refuel this shunter he's gonna need a lot of fuel to shunt this thing speaking of fuel okay this car will be ready soon There we go. Freight train just went past Ila, which means in about 10 minutes it should reach Bryson. And in about 15 to 20 minutes I'm expecting passenger train to to get there as well. Speaking of passenger train, we will need to update its route okay I, I can keep it uh, with Hemingway and Alarka Junction just because I want this train to pick up passengers at Whittier and Ila I, I love how whistles are getting distorted the quicker I move the camera. situation here at, at which here can I actually there's 85 passengers waiting that's that's quite a lot zoom in and out yeah like every time you move a camera around the train that is using a whistle or horn it, it's like sound is getting ridiculous Chat. 102 is at 611 gallons of water.
There we go. We got some more passengers for Bryson. Some for Hemingway. Okay. Two hundred and two dollars. That's that's all right. It just pretty much paid for for the fuel that we ordered for Dillsboro. Is it? Uh, gone. Yeah, fuel pretty much costed us two hundred forty-eight dollars. So passenger train already paid for that. It actually paid for a lot more than that. There we go. Now the train is heading to Ila. Speaking of Ila, do we have any work here? Uh, yeah, there is one car for inter uh, for the interchange. Okay. And freight train is about to arrive at Bryson. Finally. Oh, looks like Tankis is arriving at Whittier with stencil cars. So he will probably make it to shunt them. Because stencil siding is quite empty. Right, so while we wait, I will take a very, very quick break, and I'll be back with you in five minutes.
All right, everyone. My apologies for that. Break. Right, so uh, we got passenger train arriving at Bryson really, really soon. That's exactly what we are going to do. Uh, I will just set things to stop at Bryson. Perfect. Uh, Bryson Yard is bigger than Interchange. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> it is, in fact, bigger. Like, in Interchange is honestly, like, surprisingly small. It, it would be nice if, if that would be far more impressive. Like, super huge yard. That, that should be what, what it is. Right, heavy freight for some reason. Overshoot. Look at this. It, it, it stopped way too late. Yard reverse. Five. No, yeah, yard reverse two. There we go. Okay, th this train actually never stopped. Okay, okay. So some weird stuff happened here. And, and this train decided to never fully stop, and, and it was slowly creeping through this junction. Right, so now we have those two locomotives. They are still assigned to heavy freight. Um, but, I think in next episode we will be thinking about repurposing them. Uh, I, I definitely need to think about refueling them, as yeah, 201 has only 651 gallons of water. Uh, I've got this. this is not multiple units, I'll set this to manual. And this is no longer multiple units with a cutout. It is also manual. Okay, I will have to get rid of those two locomotives before I start shunting anything. ARC-103 will deal with that issue. Okay, there's 50 tons of ballast, 70 tons. Okay, I actually might need ARC-201 to, to deal with this one. ARC-101 will, however, go into engine depot and it will remain there for a while. And that's going to be the plan for tomorrow. Because today, that today we are very, very close to the finish line. Let's just wait for this passenger train to arrive. Maybe, maybe that will be better perspective. Beautiful. Right, so for this train, 102, we will disable route mode. We need to remove Bryson. We need to decouple and apply the brakes. And that's where we will finish that. Yes, I need to go to work, so I'm, I'm afraid I can't stay much longer. But I'm really glad that so many of you tuned in for, for this stream today. And I hope this will continue over the next few days. Weeks. 
and god knows how how long the streams will go but for now for now that was an absolutely amazing turnout and I'm, I'm really glad to see more and more people tuning in more and more people joining me in the game itself because it's an open session so as long as you have the game and you want to join you can do so all you have to do is to navigate to my discord server and whenever i'm live streaming railroader that server will be live and you can join it you will then be given a task and hopefully all together with some teamwork we will be able to run this railroad in efficient and fun matter or manner <laughs> Yes, yes, that, that's the plan, yeah, that's the plan. And obviously in between we will do Stream Raiders battles and, well, I'll, I'll try to think about other activities in the future. Yes, definitely, definitely. I, I, I will try and think of something so that things will get more and more and more exciting, hopefully. All right, everyone. So that is the finish line. Thank you very much. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Don't, don't, don't go yet. Almost forgot. You know what? Before we finish. Let's raid someone. Uh, let, let, let's see if someone is live from, from my personal list of of streamers to raid hang on hang on hang on i, I need to find this Be before before we fail completely i i need to check whether someone is live oh dear lord yeah it's really hard to find someone live at that time hang on is is the raid going to happen hang on. This, this is the wrong stuff chat it's dead quiet yeah i i don't see anyone live from any of my lists and I got three of them. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I, I think we will wrap it up uh, like that. And, and hopefully closer to the weekend, we should find someone streaming at that time. Uh, but in the middle of the week, yeah, it might be difficult to find someone. I, I need to update the list and, and find more streamers around this time frame. Uh, who I can raid, but yeah, today I, I think I failed to find someone. Anyway, chat, next time we will try to raid someone. And today, that's everything. Bye-bye. <laughs>